Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to convert InfoPath forms to PDF using Power Automate. Ever since Microsoft has announced the retirement of InfoPath, people responsible for archiving and maintaining their accessibility have been very busy searching for alternatives. In this particular tutorial, we will understand how you can easily archive PDF forms using Mohimbi and Power Automate. So now that we understand the requirement, let's look at our use case. So here my friends, I have got few InfoPath forms. I have got approximately 10 forms, but you can have hundreds of forms out here. We need to archive all these forms into a PDF and store it in a different document library. When I open the form, you'll see that the form is a single page, however, it has attachments. Using Mohimbi, you can convert attachments into PDF and append it. That being said, Mohimbi also supports a wide variety of document formats. So if the attachment is in Word, Excel, PowerPoint or an image, it will still work. That being said, let's quickly navigate to our Power Automate and let's create our solution. So I'll click on create and here my friends, I'm going to create an instant flow. I'll click on skip and I'll select the manual trigger. Next, what I want to do is I want to get the file content from SharePoint. So get file content using path. And here I'm going to select my site address and let me select the template. Okay. InfoPath form is made up of two main files. One is the form itself, that is the XML, and second is the template. The template is stored in a hidden location known as forms, and in forms, you'll find template.xsn. So this is the template. I'll rename this template content. Perfect. Now that we have the template content, the next would be to get the file content. But we need to get the file content of all the files and use the action get files. Here again, I'm going to give it a site address, my library, InfoPath Forms. And next, I'm going to get the file content. I'll again pass it the URL or the site address. And here, I'm going to pass in the identifier. As soon as I pass in the identifier, it decorates the action with an apply to each loop because get files returns an array. Now that I have the file content and the template file content, I can use the Mohimbi action. So Mohimbi PDF and here I can type in InfoPath and pass it the InfoPath file content. So first things first, I need to pass it the source file name. So file name with extension file content, which is the output of the get file content action above it. Just understand this returns me the XML. So this is the XML. And next I need to pass it the template file content. So template file content will be returned by this action. Get file content using path template content. Now if I have multiple views in the form, I can go and specify the view in a com comma separated list view. Do I want to include attachments? Yes, I want to include that. What do I do with the attachments? Do I merge the attachments? Do I attach it as original or embed it as original or attach it as a PDF? Next, what I want to do is what happens when a attachment is not supported? Do I want to go ahead and throw an error? Do I want to remove it or do I want to attach it as original? What happens when a merge error occurs? Do I want to fail the entire action or do I just want to go to next? Next, you can also apply filters to attachment. For example, if you don't want to convert .txt file, you can just skip it. If you want to convert .docx file, then you can just include the .docx in the list. Similarly, you can exclude it. Then you can specify a paper size. You can specify the paper size here. You can also put in a custom paper size. Next, you can also set up a default paper size. Then you can say force to a paper size. And then if you have a custom paper size, you can also set up here. You can also set up the orientation. The default will be the default specified in the InfoPath template. But if you want it to be landscape or portrait, or you can keep it at both. Next, you can specify a start page and an end page. Then you can say the conversion quality. The conversion quality can be optimized to print or optimized to screen. 
You can leave it at default. It's optimized to print. Then if there is something which is not available in these particular options or these particular settings, then you can also specify an XML. Don't worry about the XML as of now because that's only used for edge cases. Then you can also say, do you want to fail it on error? Yes or no. So that being said, there's a lot of settings and you can fine tune and tweak your InfoPath conversion process. Next, what I want to do is I want to, con I want to write the converted file into my SharePoint document library. So I'll say create file. Here, I'll again put in the site address. I'll select the folder path. It's archived in for path forms. I'll use the base file name and I'll put in an extension .pdf and I'll also pass it the file content. Now that I have my Power Automate configured, let me quickly give my flow a meaningful name. Perfect, I'll save my flow and I'll test my flow. Perfect, so, has, so our flow has completed successfully. Let's quickly go to the archived folder. And yes, my friends, I have got the InfoPath documents convert. So let me quickly open a form in the browser. And here is how it looks like. You see, you have the attachment merged to the PDF and you have a perfectly printed PDF form. I hope this demo was informative. Thank you for your time and have a great day.